Good evening, everyone. As your host for tonight's presentation, it is my pleasure on behalf of the Visual Arts Department to warmly welcome you, parents, students and staff of St Monica's College to the 2022 Principals Art Prize. As a college community, we would like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri people, the traditional custodians of the land upon which we gather, exhibit and create art. We acknowledge that they have occupied and cared for this country over many generations and we celebrate their continued contribution. We acknowledge their living culture and their unique role in the life and art of this region. We would also like to pay respect to their elders, both past, present and emerging, and we extend that respect to all Aboriginal people present. So now I will hand over to our student representative, Ava Valella, who will read our prayer for this evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus, bless our Monacan students who by their gifts make the world a more joyful and beautiful place. Through their labours, they teach us to see more clearly the truth around us. In their inspiration, they call forth wonder and awe in their hope and vision. They remind us that life is holy. Bless all who create in your image. Pour your spirit upon them, so their hearts may sing and their artworks be fulfilling. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So how wonderful it is to be back in person and celebrating the artistic achievements of our students. It has been two years that we have run our art prize remotely and we are so grateful to be in the room with you all tonight to celebrate. The Principal's Art Prize is held every year to showcase the artwork produced by the students of St Monica's College in their previous year. Every student whose work is exhibited here tonight has produced artworks of an exceptionally high standard and I congratulate you all on receiving an award for this event. We had 350 artworks and we have now 15 award recipients tonight. So that's an amazing, amazing job. So well done. The visual arts play an important role in the social, cultural and spiritual lives of the young people at our college. From year seven, Monican students engage in creative problem solving, conceptual thinking and self-expression. They are supported through to year 12 by a curriculum which focuses on strong technical skill and critical investigation. As well as the tremendous technical skill we have seen tonight, engagement with the arts also allows our students to appreciate and understand the diverse cultures and values of our society. The arts at St Monica's are valued they provide a unique platform to discuss many social justice issues. In the visual arts classroom, students can learn about themselves and explore different viewpoints, which helps them develop their ability for empathy. So it is now my pleasure to introduce the Deputy Principal for Identity, Mission and Community, Miss Bernadette Harris, to say a few words. Thank you, Mrs Mackay. This evening, on behalf of the Principal, Mr Hanley, I thank all of the visual arts students who have participated in the 2022 Principal's Art Prize. This is a really prestigious award introduced at the college in 2003. So this evening we celebrate 20 years of art prizes at St Monica's College. So this is a really important one this year. Visual arts has been here since the very beginning. Our founding chaplain, Father Fred Chamberlain, who was the parish priest of St Peter's at Epping, and he later became the Dean of St Patrick's Cathedral, Melbourne, ensured that the arts were taught from the very first time when courses of study were introduced in 1964. So they've been here since foundation. And to acknowledge this, he gave us a generous donation of his whole library, his whole collection of books. He bequeathed them to us in his will. And he had an extensive art collection and he also gave us all of his religious paintings and sculptures. Because of that, we named our beautiful art gallery the Father Fred Chamberlain Art Gallery. And you've all been up there this evening and enjoyed looking at all of those works. So we pay tribute to the vision that he had for St Monica's College and art here. And we also pay tribute to him when we enter the Fred Chamberlain Gallery. It's also a privilege this evening that we were able to showcase some of our own Mimovich religious art collection 
And the college holds the largest collection of Mimovich religious sculptures and statues in Australia. So we had a, an opportunity this evening to showcase a few of those for you also. I commend all of the students here this evening, all 350 who entered and the 15 award recipients who are here tonight for your creativity, your skill and your Monican perseverance. And I thank your parents also for the support that they have given you. And I know that they support all of your endeavours, particularly your artistic ones. I thank Mrs Mackay and all members of the Visual Arts Faculty for organising this 20th anniversary Principal's Art Prize this evening. And I thank all staff and students who are here this evening to support this important event. And I'll return later on uh, to present Mr Hanley's award. Thank you. So tonight, selecting the winners of the Year Level Awards, Campus Awards and the overall winner of the 2022 Principals Art Prize is Miss Alicia Grasso. Now, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, Alicia has been unable to join us tonight, but instead I will be reading out her selections and her comments that she has left for each of you. Alicia's artistic journey began at St Monica's College, excelling in the subjects of textiles, studio arts and design. Alicia was the recipient of the Principal's Art Prize in 2016. Since graduating at St Monica's College, she has successfully completed a Bachelor and Honours degree in Fashion Design at RMIT University. In Alicia's final graduating year of 2021, she completed a major project and research dissertation with respect to contemporary Indigenous Australian art. So now it is my pleasure to announce the winners of the Principal's Art Prize. Can I please ask that each winner come to the front to accept your award as your name is called? And could you please remain until all recipients of the award are present on stage? Mr. Luca will be at the front here helping guide you. Could the audience please give each student a round of applause as they make their way to the stage? So the following students from each year level have received a highly commended for their artwork. So for year seven, Sehaj Kohli with her painting Bees. So Sahaj has demonstrated an intricate beehive by utilising the medium of watercolour. The yellow tones exert depth and a realistic approach to the beehive. Additionally, the bees' proportions and placements elevate the picture with positive space. Well done, Sahaj. So for year eight, Alana Bonacci with her print Still Life. Alana has created a very interesting still by focusing on line direction of inanimate objects. The lines have created a textured appearance that brings all of the objects together. Well done, Alana. For year nine, Manju Vetraville Malathi with her painting, Untitled Figure. Manju has displayed a very unique perspective of a figure. Furthermore, the subtleness of watercolour and the flatness of brush strokes contribute to evoking a mood for this artwork. Well done, Manju. <laughs> for Year 10, Tina Lai with her photograph, Baby on a Leaf. Tina has created a focal point by utilising very specific photography techniques such as cropping, exposure and depth of field. The photograph draws us in by utilising a miniature baby figure resting upon a large leaf. Well done, Tina. For Year 11, Ava Valella with her painting, I'm ready for my close-up. A 
Ava's portrait utilises the medium of watercolour with a revolutionary approach. The running tones of colours as a background contribute to a dreamlike scenario that is then captured by the girl's form. Well done, Ava. For Year 12, Jodie Lee with her painting Princess Dreaming. Jodie has created an interesting artwork by softly using the techniques of impasto for a manipulation of colours within the figure and a contrast against the background. Well done, Jodie. So congratulations to you all. Please give a round of applause for all our year level award recipients. The following students from each campus have received a highly commended for their design work. The winner for the Dalton Road campus with her drawing World Environment Day Google banner is Ayla Semi. Ayla has innovatively selected a design that relates to World Environment Day. The design displays delicate and consistent tree trunk textures and leaf silhouettes. The additional use of creatures and colours continue to balance this Google banner. Well done, Ayla. The winner for the Davison Street campus with his design remix t-shirt is Adrian Bradford. Adrian has cleverly utilised the function of a blender to relate to the theme remix. Additionally, minimal colour and thoughtful symbols assist, assist in the articulation of this t-shirt. Well done, Adrian. Congratulations to you both. Let's give one last round of applause to our design award recipients. Lots of clapping tonight. Our hands will be sore, but it's lovely to hear. The following students have received a highly commended, sorry, the following student has received a highly commended for her media film. From year 12 with her film Finding Memories is Kate Neves. Kate's anime film has courageously demonstrated the journey of human growth. Additionally, the film repetitively utilises pops of colour to recognise relevant, re relevant figures and references. So congratulations, Kate. Um, if you'd like to take a seat, we're going to view your film now. <laughs>
Well done, Kate, and thank you for that. So now to announce the campus winners for both Dalton Road and Davison Street. The overall winner for the Dalton Road campus with his drawing portrait is Joseph Ikatia. Now, unfortunately, Joseph couldn't be with us tonight. Um, Joseph's portrait evokes emotion through advanced use of graphite. The texture and form of the hair, eyes and lips allow viewers to connect deeper with the person in this artwork. So let's congratulate Joseph. <laughs> the overall winner for the Davison Street campus with her sculpture, Apocalypse, is Erica Gurung. Erica has utilised complex materials and painting techniques to achieve an accurate scenario of the apocalypse. Furthermore, the placement and distortion of bricks, wood and greenery have applied an estranged ambience. So well done, Erica. <laughs> now to announce the winner of the Curator's Choice Award. The recipient of the Curator's Choice Award with his perspective drawing Dream Bedroom is Arkan Sarmiento. Arkin's drawing has captured the joy of childhood, a childhood spirit which quite often becomes forgotten about as we journey into adulthood. Congratulations, Arkin. <laughs> now to announce the winner of the Principal's Choice Award. The recipient of the Principal's Choice Award is Julia Morasco with her drawing Self-Portrait Butterflies. I was so pleased Mr Hanley was the judge for this because it would be very difficult to choose just one artwork. Uh, Mr Hanley did all the judging last Friday, Julia, and he chose this beautiful piece. He remarked on its very strong resemblance. Completed in coloured pencil on black paper, he spoke about the likeness, the detailing, and your very delicate use of tone and line and not to mention the most stunning, beautiful arrangement of butterflies. So congratulations on behalf of Mr. Hanley, Julia, and well done on this lovely Thank you. Finally, we come to the overall winner of the Principal's Art Prize for 2022. The overall winner of the Principal's Art Prize with her drawing dynamic is Liana D'Alessandri. <laughs> Liana's drawing is completed to a very high standard with a transition of colors, tones and emotions in each figure. The artwork's concentration of four uniquely designed faces invites an audience to be present with how life can change. Congratulations, Liana. <laughs> Congratulations to all students who received an award tonight. Let's all put our hands together one last time for all our award recipients. <laughs> I encourage everyone here to view our virtual exhibition next week for the full catalogue of the 350 artworks and you are able to vote for a people's choice through our virtual exhibition as well. Thank you to Mr Brian Hanley for judging the Principal's Choice Award and for his continued support of visual arts at the college. We would also like to have a special thank you to Ms Bernadette Harris for presenting the awards on behalf of the Principal and for her insightful comments this evening. Thank you to Miss Alicia Grasso for giving her time to the judging of the art prize. Although she could not join us tonight, it has been great to share her comments and insights with the students. And she was really blown away at the quality of all of your work when she came to view it. Thank you to the wonderful visual arts teachers for nurturing and inspiring creativity in our students.
A special thanks to our technicians, Stefan Luca and Cassandra Brennan, who are an invaluable resource in our classrooms. And a special mention to Stefan Luca tonight, who has been responsible for curating and setting up the exhibition that you saw upstairs. The effort that he has put into this event demonstrates the great respect that he has for our students' work. Well done, Stefan. Thank you to our generous sponsors, Campion Education and Cavalier Art Supplies. And thank you to the very supportive parents and family members that are in the room tonight. Thank you for nurturing our students' creativity and supporting them and encouraging their talent. And finally, well done to the students here. As you move forward into taking your place in the adult world, I would urge you very strongly to please take your artistic gift with you. I encourage you to embrace it, to nurture it and to share it because the gift that you have is very important. So thank you for your attention tonight. And can I please ask all award recipients to please make their way to the front of the stage for some photos to be taken. And thank you all for coming tonight and showing your support to the extremely talented students of St Monica's College. Thank you.